Away to other stories now. Kogi and Akwabom states were identified by the Nigerian government as sites for a nuclear power plants in 2015. But with the Chanibal and uh, Fukushima nuclear disasters, the selected community in Akwabom and the government of the state say it will resist the siting of the billion dollar project on their land. Ugochi Olubu visited the village and reports. Nigeria is a country with huge demand for energy. With decades of massive investment in energy supply and despite abundant natural resources, the country still struggles to generate a mega 4,000 megawatts of electricity. To try fixing this energy crisis, Nigeria decided to diversify its electricity sources from the present 80% gas and 20% hydro to integrate nuclear power to meet its target of generating 20,000 megawatts by year 2020. In 2015, the Nigeria Atomic Energy Commission selected E2 in Akwaibom State as a site for building nuclear power plants. It's called Nigeria's energy mix. It sounds like a perfect plan for the government, but not for environmentalists and many from the selected states. When we cannot manage simple hydro, we have wires that, are, that, that look like they're about to break and fall on people, and then we want to use, go into nuclear energy production. I mean, I, I think it's, it's a way of showing that we are actually responsible in Nigeria. We don't care about our future, we don't care about our children. We have nuclear accident in Nigeria, that would be a calamity of proportion that I've not heard of before. So, on this rainy day, we we'll take a trip to Ikore Bonetami to local government in Akwaibom State to find out how the community received the news of a nuclear power plant in their home. Yes, for me, in Nigeria, they say that it is the first nuclear plant that they want to exist in, uh, call it in Africa as a whole. So I am support because I want it will create a job opportunity for the teaming youth who oh, have not uh, got anything to do. Okay. Uh, and you are you in support of it? Yeah. Have you heard about the nuclear plant? Yes. What do you think? I think about the government to bring a good something for us. So the government bring a equity. To be happy. Okay. Some of us here yeah, are not well educated on the the importance of the nuclear plant, then and the and the, and the hazards and the effects of it. So I, I don't know. I don't know because we have not seen it before, and I mean, and we don't know the use and we don't know how it will be. So that is what I know about it. Do you trust that Nigeria can take care of you if they bring nuclear plants in? No, no. Cannot afford to take care of the nuclear plant because one, presently, here is the Gorebonu Dam, very close to the town. And this, look at the kind of road we are passing through. Meaning that Nigeria is not one of far. We call it, uh, call it uh, 60 percent developed compared to Japan. So we cannot. So have you changed your mind now? We cannot cope up. So <laughs> if that is the very I'm saying uh, the way I'm looking at it is that the effect is greater uh, the advantage is greater than the uh, the, the, the disadvantage is greater than the advantage. So I don't I don't I don't want I don't want to try to find out. The community head says they have not been officially informed of government's plan to build a nuclear plant in his community. Don't bring that thing. I have told the government I don't like it because it's not good for people. Today and forever, I won't agree. It can destroy our lives. I don't want it and the people don't want it either. It's not good for residential areas. I don't want it. Ikare Boitam is a farming community but also has massive deposits of clay. The once thriving ceramics industry here has been shut down and abandoned for years, leaving many workers jobless. And this community is afraid of losing more of its natural resources. When I was a little child, they came to acquire our land for industrial estate. But 
till now, we don't have a good road. You see the road, very bad. It's not accessible. So we've not really, really felt the impact of government in our community. So we want government to bring, maybe construct good road for us. At the state level, the Aquaibum state government has said it will resist the plan to site the nuclear plant in the state. We are all living witness to the consequences of uh, such uh, um, accident. And moreover, for the location of a power plant, uh, such power plant, there are certain requirements. It must be located within a radius of uh, a place that is far away from where people are living. And look at the uh, Ituluga government, a very congested local government. Where, where is it supposed to be situated? And I'm happy your visit to the community has shown that they're also not in support. And our state government is also in support of uh, such power plants. We have other places with massive uh, uh, landmass. Akwaibom State, is a, it is the smallest in terms of landmass in Nigeria. So uh, I think they should uh, reconsider it and take it to a place that um, we have the land. This couple have lived in Ikore Bometam long enough to understand the beauty and difficulty of life in the community. They agree that the community needs support from the federal government to develop, but not in the area of nuclear energy. So far, that thing will destroy human beings. We don't want it. We don't want dangerous uh, industries. industries for us, apart from the one that will be uh, good Safe for us. for human beings. Like, like pottery, pottery, what it is, ceramics, and other better industries. But life has to go on here for the old and for the young who are unaware of what the future holds with nuclear energy hanging over their heads.